my information the message to the I will add it to this video the So far, God never attack to the earth, according to the book and according to the information we have so far, in the beginning to the end. This is going to happen in the end. What end is not here yet, I will bring for you, before end coming, in the history of the world, in the records, someone coming, God sending someone from a space. According to the book, uh, many times God sent him for emergency in the earth, San Michael. We can call here Jesus. San Michael. Many people they don't see that and they don't understand reality power of the San Michael. It is direct, is the God power when coming. When God coming or San Michael come, it is equal same. But in the beginning to the end, no one came to the earth for the world from God's side, only San Michael came. Now we've been called for the mission of the San Michael to raising the world documentary before this happened and this coming I can give you a few words mister for this volcano you can see that question coming to the many people why is the volcano is exists in the earth why is the volcano exists in the earth to the history and the many country they have volcano i will explain for you also volcano is the master falling of the demon in that country they built which is the space planet from Europa to Saturn to the black hole they build their power in the space which is the temporary power there is no power I see and they believe long long term long long term long long time ago evacuation in the earth by comet by a special comet they hit in the earth and this volcano you can see myself I want to give you some information because uh, our intelligent believe this volcano is the coming from natural or the earth mother or something is happening because of the grounds but the reality is uh, this volcano is the demon i can tell you right now this demon has no power to do explosion before Before this angel, so question coming: Who is the controller in this volcano here? Who is the controller in this volcano? Satan and his people and demon? No, myself. They are not in control in this volcano. This volcano have remote control from far away. If they push the remote control, this volcano move, like going to act. But if this volcano, they don't allow, they don't allow to move, this volcano cannot move. So subject, I bring it to you, why is the volcano hitting few country? Because those country been marked 
the falling of the demon onto that whole country. To destroy them, the technology, everything they have, they build in there, even their ground is in the risk, some of those countries. So, this is the, you can call Enoch, you can call Enoch Khan came, angel came, demon came and slipped with the woman and they make the child of the, themselves and his nation came. But this is the same history happening by demon falling to the land and land and land. All those land you can see is the being marked by the falling of the demon to that land. And you can call maybe few hundred uh, miles deep underground. But technology, they don't believe it is something like that. But they are few hundred miles and deep underground. To waiting for the time. But who is the time? This man here. This man here is the time, sir. If he say it is time, it means angel will attack. But he don't attack. He's waiting for God permission to the last stand, last judgment day. And I believe this information they told many Arab countries be destroyed by the Jesus. I, I, I don't go against the Bible, but I believe many Muslim country, Arab country coming to Jesus. They be saved. I can say average 75% Arab country coming to Jesus. No time by space they can see that sign appearing by serious, serious space force coming to that country. So my message to you is only to bring this one subject here. This volcano have key remote control. And this remote control is in the his hand and given to this people. It means these people have the remote control of the volcano. If they push the button, volcano is going to go, volcano is going to be raising the country, country, country. So I be called by this seven archangel Michael to be in the those country. They don't understand. Do they believe this is the final stand, San Michael? Before judge, before justice of God, before judgment of God coming, it is this seven archangel. And darkness know that these seven archangels already defeat the space. So San Michael appearing to the black hole in the space. San Raphael appearing to the cloud of the galaxy. They fell out. And San Raphael appeared to the comet. I can bring you some part here. They appearing to comet even. So all this is signed to us to understand. Angel is unleashed. No demon, no Satan, no alien, no UFO can stop this army when they come together. All will fall on the ground, under their feet. So I want to bring it here. Today you can see that uh, angel of the gods. This is not match for angel of the god volcano. They are fighting in the space now for your generation to come, which is the angel Michael and Saint Raphael, they're ruling the fault in the angel. And you can see that here is the ten of thousand comets. But this is a not comet, also. this is a demon. This is not comet, all this is a demon. But angel of the God appearing from ten of thousand in comet on the on the on the sky, and they don't shake, they don't move. But comet, some of those comet be impact by one angel appearing like San Rafael in the sky. They can impact the comets, and comets be colder and fall. But technology cannot copy that. What they do, they hide in the information. Attack of angel has been blocked by technology weapon in the sky by UFO alien. When angel attack comets or any subject in the space, 
immediately they block the satellites of the space technology to not see. They can see angel ability in the sky. So I be called to bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, to intelligent, mostly intelligent people in the world, ability of one angel. This is a not joke, Messiah. If one angel appearing to ten of thousand comet on the sky, it means one angel able to to impact ten of thousands comet on the sky. Why they don't impact? Because they have plan. Darkness have plan. If they impact, they fall on the earth. So they are waiting for us to raise in military intelligence in the space to start this war. Because this war for angel of the God is piece of cake, you see. It is not in Lord, especially here, you can see that. Watch this. Revelation 19.15 says, Out of his mouth came the sharp sword, with which he will defeat the nations. Who can send in the fire from his mouth? But this is not fire, Mesa. This is the biggest nuclear, nuclear fission ever has been copied in the record of beginning to the end in the sky. Satan and alien and demon cannot stand from this fire. They be completely, they know that already, they be completely destroyed again. So they be sent by force of this fire immediately to the tip of the hell of the fire because they can't stand from this fire. So subject this fire is not happening yet and not going to happen in because our generation, Italian, they are not going to allow Jesus coming before we are not ready. So we are Italian people because we did. All in the earth is going to be dead and judgment they happen. We have generation children to children to stand up before God and we ask for God time. We give us a little bit of time, which is I am time here. Yeah. You must believe I am time coming to the United States, Russia, European, especially China. Use your mind and stand up. And England and many Middle East countries like Turkey, Iran. I am time. I come to bring a time for you. Time is here, Mr. by this angel. This angel is secret italian defense military in the space unleash no no power can stand from this army when they come together they be impact everything so according to the word of god i must be in victory for words for god and by this angel san michael perhaps that's what makes them so fascinating in that there is so much intrigue surrounding their vague presence in the bible while the Bible is full of ambiguity with some of its characters, there is perhaps no one more ambiguous than the Archangel, known as Michael. Yet despite his minuscule presence in the Bible, Archangel Michael has cultivated a massive devotion for not only those from the Christian faith, but also the Jewish and Islamic faiths as well, given that Archangel Michael appears across all three religious texts in some capacity. However, there are those that would believe that Archangel Michael's appearance in this manner is subject to interpretation. In this video, we'll be primarily focusing on Michael's presence in the Bible, as this is a Biblical Stories Explained series, but I will be touching on stories and legends originating from both Jewish and Islamic texts to give you an unbiased and hopefully more complete picture of who Archangel Michael really is, as well as what he means to people today. He is considered to be the Biblical God's finest champion a being so powerful that he is able to banish Lucifer from heaven by himself without direct intervention from God. His name, which means he who is as God, is usually considered to be an angel of protection and perhaps the most powerful of all of God's angels. It goes without saying that as the most powerful, Michael is the leader within the realm of angels and serves as a warrior to defeat the forces of evil in all of their forms. But did you know that Archangel Michael is only mentioned a total of six times in the Bible? He is mentioned three times in the Old Testament, in the book of Daniel, where he is merely mentioned by another unknown entity, and later on again in the New Testament, in his battle with Lucifer and the other fallen angels. He is also seen in the epistle of Jude, in a debate with Satan, and is again alluded to in the first epistle of the Thessalonians. Though he is not explicitly named in this instance. In all of these accounts, though, 
The scripture supporting Archangel Michael is loose at best, and as I mentioned earlier, perhaps this is where the fascination with angels stems from, in that the Bible does not tell us much about this bold and brilliant persona. Archangel Michael's first mention comes out of the Old Testament in the book of Daniel, and it is virtually just that, a mention. Daniel, something of a prophet of God, prays to his Lord in hopes that he will bring some stability to the turmoil in Israel and hopes to confess all of the sins of his people. During this prayer, a being makes himself known and is described in Daniel 10, 5-6 as a man dressed in linen with a belt of fine gold from Eupas around his waist. His body was like topaz, his face like lightning, his eyes like flaming torches, his arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze, and his voice like the sound of a multitude. While this man is never explicitly identified, it is understood that this being is not mortal, and that he is of a supernatural composition. His presence in Daniel 10, 10 through 20, sees this entity explain to Daniel what will happen to his people, and what lies in Israel's fate in the times coming. What's most interesting about these passages is that the entity, powerful as he appears to be, claims that he has been resisted by the Prince of Persia, and that this has delayed him in reaching Daniel. In Daniel 10.13, he states that the Prince of the Persian Kingdom resisted me for 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. While the nature of Michael's help is not detailed beyond this, we can gather that the entity in question is reinforced by Michael, thus on the side of the <coughs> The fact that Michael came to help this entity shows us perhaps the basis of which his reputation as a protector stems from. Michael's involvement at all also serves to show Daniel that the entity which has approached him is on God's side, as Michael works only with God's divine intentions in mind. Some have speculated that this entity is actually Archangel Gabriel, another of the suspected archangels in the scripture, most notably Judaism.